Hey everybody, I'm not really going to show my face in this video, but you can see the dog's ear. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what am I going to do in this video? Um, I'm not going to really show my face in the, this video because I just look awful. But um, I just wanted to show you guys how I have childproofed our fireplace and talk a little bit about what I used, how I did it, and... Um, what it was going to cost us. So today I went with a couple pictures of our fireplace to the fireplace store. And I said, you know, this screen moves. So to do foster care, we need something that makes it so the kids can't access the inside of the fireplace. So I told him, you know, we have the brick surrounding and then we have the brick in the back and we need something that won't move. And our options kind of at this point are to have a complete insert or to have a door installed. The doors go anywhere from $600 to $5,000 for the inserts. And we really wanted to be able to keep our wood burning. Um, my husband and I both really like it that way. And it's probably a bit cleaner to have the gas. But... At this point, we really like it that way. We'll see if that ever changes. Um, so our options were like glass doors, and that ranged anywhere from six hundred dollars to a thousand plus. And I didn't particularly like any of the doors. Usually, by the way, our stockings are hung over here. Anyway, I didn't really like any of the doors. I don't really like glass doors, partly because they get hot. Partly because I just don't think they look all that great to me. And I really like our fireplace cover. I like the fact that it has little leaves all over it. And it matches our trim. Which I hand painted. So I really just wanted to use this. And I had had an idea. But my husband couldn't really visualize what I was talking about. So he didn't want to do it. Well, today I decided to give it a shot, see if I could save myself $600, basically, at the very least. And if he doesn't like it, that's fine. We can move on and get the door. But if he's okay with it, then cool. So today's project ended up costing me about $25. And it basically worked out very well. It was pretty easy. And it worked exactly how I wanted it to. Okay, Bob. So what the tools that I needed for this project were a drill, some regular pliers, some needle nose pliers, and I used some scissors, but that was just to open packaging. Then what I had to buy, I had to buy some drill bits because you have to have special drill bits. Yes, puppy, thank you. Thank you. I don't want kisses right now. Thank you. You have to have special masonry drill bits to drill into... Uh, brick and concrete and things. So I ended up getting this. I only needed the smallest size, but I was going to end up buying two or three of this small size just in case it broke on me. And this, for three of this size in a different brand and singular, purchasing them um, in packages of one, it would have cost me about $12 overall, and this whole set cost me $14. It has three of the smallest, two of these, three of this size, three of this size, two of this size, and one of this majorly humongous one. So I thought that was a better deal, and if I ever need to drill into, <coughs> excuse me, um, any kind of really hard material, I can use this. So then I needed to buy some chain link. I just bought a package of small chain link and about three of these packages of eye hooks, but I only needed two, so I'm returning this one. Then what I did was I drilled a hole on the top and bottom of each side. I put the eye hook, screwed it in. I opened some of this chain link. I opened it to put it on <laughs> with the needle nose pliers. I hooked it onto the screen, and then I closed it with the needle nose pliers. I did that on top, 
and bottom of each side, and now a child cannot open the fireplace. So that was it, and it worked really well. Um, as you can see, you can't really open it. A child could potentially um, put their fingers in here, but it really won't, it shouldn't hurt them.